Okay, class, good okay, morning. Ano po? Yes, ma'am. Hello po, nakikita na po. Okay na. Okay na po, ma'am. Okay, class, stand up. I'm Huraya. Okay, class, good morning. Before we proceed to our discussion for today's lesson, I prepared an activity titled The Scrambled Word. So I want you to, to unjumble the the unarranged letter to get the right word. So what, number one, what is the word for number one? Okay, class, this this word is close. Then number two, yes, very good, it's open. Then number three, Yes, sleep. The word number four. Anyone? Okay. This word is... <clears throat> Arise. The number five. What is number five? Okay, stand. Very good. And for the next activity, um, this is the group activity, and I want and I want every group to act the action verbs in a in a worksheet, and I want and one one member of the group will be guessing the action verb. So you may now start the activity. Okay, class, very good. You guess all the words of an action word. Okay. Number two. Yeah. The next activity is... is find the action verb from the sentence. So I want you class to analyze the every every sentence and pick the action verb the action verb from the sentence. So number one, what is the action verb? David sleeps on the bed. Yes, the action verb is sleeps. Number two, the tree fell to the ground. Okay, the action the action verb is fell. Then number three, Richard painted a beautiful picture. What is the action verb? Okay, very good. It's painted. Then number four, Angela washes her car. Okay, the action verb is washes. Then number five, Peterson drives his car. Okay, the action verb is drives. So let us now proceed to our discussion. Okay. Our topic for today is the action verb. So what is an action verb? An action verb is a word that shows what someone or something is doing. So in the other hand, action verb is... Um, on the other hand... Action verb shows an action. It is the word that shows an action. For example, is eat, drink, sleep, run, hug, climb, jump, and many others. Another example for action verb is Number one, Eddie 
hugs the dog. So the action verb here is hugs because it shows an action. Same with the number two, Carla is jumping. So the action verb here is jumping. The number three, Carlo moves like jagger. So the action verb is move. Then number four, Fina sings her favorite love song. So sings is an action word. It's an action verb. Let us now proceed to our activity. Then, and I, in this activity, I want you to construct at least five sentences with an action verb. So you may, you, you will construct the, the, a sentence with an action verb to it. So you may now start. Okay, class, very good. For the next activity, in the table below, separate the action verbs from the noun. So the words are here. Dance, sing, clap, sun, walk, fly, apple, and ice cream. So I want you, so I want you separ to separate the action verb from the noun by using this matrix you may now start the activity okay class very good you separate the action word from the nouns and questions what did you learn from the lesson anyone yes action verb shows an action it is a word that shows an action so for the next question is, what is the value of knowing the action verbs? Yes, we. it gives us the awareness that every action we do in our daily lives calls an action verb. So, for our evaluation, I prepared a true or false. So, direction, write the letter T if the statement is true and letter F if the statement is false. So, number one. I want you to prepare one per sheet of paper first. Okay, ready? Number one, walk is an example of a verb. True or false? Okay, number two, the word flower is an action verb. Okay, number three, action verb shows in action. Number four, singing is an example of action verb. And lastly, chocolate is an, ex is an action verb. So finish or not finish, please pass your papers. Okay, for our assignment for the lesson is, I want you to draw at least five action verbs that you usually do outside the house. So for the assignment, you will draw an action, at least five action verbs that you usually do outside the house for example is laying something like that so that's all for today i i hope you learned a lot and enjoy the lesson for today you may now dismiss okay thank you sir <laughs> <laughs>
Madam. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> Go na po yung next. Kita na po. Okay po. So, yung po. comments, by the way, ano, sa classroom na lang. Ano, Arnie? Congrats. Morning, class. My name is... Ako na pong next. Wait, wait lang pa. Ito na. <clears throat> wait lang. Ito pa. Okay. Naririnig po? Anyone? Naririnig po? Aba, yeah. Okay, thank you. Pagoy. Sige, sige, sige. Good morning, class. Shall we all stand and let us pray? Dear Lord, be with us today as we have our lesson. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, you may now take your seats. Again, good morning, class. This is Teacher Joan, and today, I will be your English teacher. But before that, let's check your attendance first. Okay, very good. No one is absent today. Um, to begin with, I want you to say, English is fun. Say it with me. English is fun. Great job. So now, I will present my screen to you. Let's wait for a second. Kita na po? Yes, Joan. Thank you. Okay. Are you ready, kids, for our exciting lesson for today? Great. To begin with, I want you to remember our lesson yesterday. Anyone? Okay, our lesson yesterday is all about noun. So what is noun? Anyone? Okay, that's great. Noun is a name of person, places, things, and animals. Very good, class. And now, our new lesson for today is all about common noun and proper noun. For our objectives, at the end of the lesson, the pupils should be able to recognize the difference between common noun and proper noun, share the importance of common noun and proper noun, and construct a sentence using common noun and proper noun. So these are our table of contents. Next. Okay, let's get started. Before we continue, let's play a game. This game called Naming Noun Game. You're going to name the nouns that you can see around you or inside or and outside the classroom. Are we clear? Okay, are you ready kids? Great. So what you can see? Okay, you saw a park, a young girl, a pencil, and a dog? Okay. Another answer, please. Okay, you saw Miss Rain and a book. Okay, very good, class. Give yourself a round of applause. And now, I want to group yourself into two groups. 
each group will brainstorm and you will explain and share to the class your idea or understanding based on your assigned topic. Are we clear? Okay, you may now start. Are you done? Very good. So now, I have sentences and we're going to identify whether it is common noun or proper noun. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's begin. For number one, William was just a simple farmer. So what do you think? It is common noun or proper noun? Okay, it is proper noun. For number two, she become a doctor at the age of 26. It's common noun or proper noun? Very good. It is common noun. For number three, she always carries an umbrella with her. Okay, it is common noun. I proper noun. For number four, okay, I spend my whole day at Luke Horan. It's common noun or proper noun? Okay, it is proper noun. Very good, class. Your answers are correct. So now, let's proceed to our main lesson for today. There are many kinds of noun, but let's focus on the first two kinds of nouns, which are common noun and proper noun. So let's proceed or define first what is common noun. Okay, common noun are used to name persons, places, things, and events. In general, it refers to class or type of noun without being specific. It always begins with a small letter. So these are the examples of common noun. A businessman, park, flower, and laptop. So who can give another example of common noun? Okay. Very good. A perfume, ball, ball rudder, and fruit. Very good. Now, you understand and you have already idea about common noun. So let's proceed to another type of noun, which is proper noun. So proper noun, I use to name specific person, places, things, animals, and events. It always begins with a capital letter. So his, here's our the example. Daniel Padilla, Art and Museum, Azer, and Sunflower. Okay, do you understand what is common noun and proper noun? Very good. So let's move on to our, to your activity. So for your individual activity, in a piece of paper, write at least five sentences that has proper noun and common noun. Okay, you may now start. Are you done? Okay, please pass your paper. Now for your group activity, before you start, I want you to know the group activity rule. First, be cooperative. Second, avoid noise while doing the activity. And third, follow the time limit given. Are you ready? Okay, you may now start. Are you done? Okay, very good. So for group one, much common noun to its proper noun. For group two, underline the proper noun in each sentence. And for group three, encircle the common noun in each sentence. Group one, so much common noun to its proper noun. The common noun are teacher, beach, phone, shoes and candy and the proper noun for these words or given words are miss fina rose bagas bagas bus beach samsung nike and kitkat okay very good class very good group two for group number a group very good group number one so for group number two next Underline the proper noun in each sentence. So I must say that Bobby is very, very smart student. I live in Texas City. 
let's go to McDonald's today. My favorite month is April. Can I have some apple? So the proper noun for these sentences are Bobby, Texas, McDonald's, eh, April, and apple. April and apple. Okay, very good. Group number two. So for group number three, encircle the common noun in each sentence. We're, go we're going to park today. I live in a small town. What school do you go? Let's watch movies. I love to play different sports. So the common noun for these sentences or sentence are part, small town, school, movies, and sports. Okay. For our generalization, it is based on our discussion. So again, class, what is noun? Okay. Noun is the name of persons, places, things, animals, and events. They're good. So what are the two kinds of nouns we discussed today? Okay, that's great. It is no common nouns and proper nouns. So what is common noun? Very good. Common noun are used to name persons, places, things, and events in general. This always begin with a small letter. So what is proper noun? Okay, that's great. Proper noun are used to name, per name specific persons, places, things, animals, and events. And it is all... Always begin with a, with a capital letter. Sorry. Okay, very good class. Let's moving on to our... Let's move on to our evaluation. For the direction, the third mean, whether... I'm oh, sorry. Determine whether each noun is common noun or proper noun. So the given words are... New York, television, subject, converse, Mani Pacquiao, soap, Independence Day, bear brand, pants, and store. So you may now start. Okay. Are you done? Okay, very good. These are the correct answer for your evaluation. The New York, it is pro proper noun. Television, it is common noun. Subject, common noun. Converse, proper noun. Mani Pacquiao is proper noun. So, common noun. Independence Day, proper noun. Bear brown, proper noun. Pants, common noun. And store is common noun. So, who got 10 points? Okay, very good. A lot of you got 10 points. Now, for your assignment, write at least five proper noun for each common noun. For example, flower. A gomomela. Okay, did you get it? Okay, very good. So, is there any question or clarification? None? Okay. I hope you learn and enjoy our lesson. And that's all for today. Thank you for your listening. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. Hello po. Stop na ba? Hi, Joan. <laughs> Nag-share screen pa? Okay na? Hindi na okay na. Okay na. Next na si Chris. Okay. okay. Thank you. <gasps> Ma'am, sunod na ako? Dahil si mama mo. Good morning, class. So please stand up to our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Once again, good morning. So please sit down properly and I will check the attendance first. See present if you are here. Babagay Faye, Cabrera Andrea, David Ronali, Padilio Mary Jane, 
Okay, very good. No one is absent today. So, class, shall I proceed to my presentation? Okay, thank you. Meron na po ba? Opo. So now, our topic for today is all about verbs. The objectives are for cognitive, recognize common action words in story, conversation, and etc. For affective, determine the importance of using verb. For psychomotor, create sentence using action words. But before we proceed to our new lesson, what did we discuss yesterday? Yes, Faye, it's all about noun. Who can give the definition of noun? Cabrera? Exactly. It is a name of person, place, animals, things, or event. So, class, I have a question. What are you usually doing every day? Playing. Very good. What else? Okay. For now, for activity number one, I present some pictures and I will call some students to identify what pictures are presented. Do you get it, class? So, for number one, what the picture presented? Miss David? Very good. It is singing. For number two, babagay. Reading. Very good. For number three, Padilio, it is crying. For number four, what the pictures presented, Miss Rada? It is, he is drawing. For number five, for the last number, what the pictures presented? Eating. Very good, class. So now, let's proceed to our second activity. In the video. So what a, watch a video. So what are the words that you remember in the video? So run, walk, jump, fly and dance. So now let's proceed to our next topic which is verb. Who have an idea about verb? Anyone? Okay, David, very good. Verb is a word that shows actions or being. So, for example, Ken reads book. The verbs in the sentence is reads because it shows actions. For example, number two, my dog jumps over the fence. 
What do you think the action words in the sentence? Yes, babagay? It is jumps. Very good. Every word that shows actions is called verb. Like walking, running, swimming, listening, and many more. Now, I have here a story entitled, A Trip to the Zoo. So, read it loudly and the words and try to remember the action words or verb that we'll use in the story. So, A Trip to the Zoo. Lynn walks to the zoo. She says some crazy things. The monkey swings in the tree. The lion roars in the cage. Three ostrich eat hungrily. An otter slides down a hill. A fancy parrot sings loudly. Lynn looks and listens all day long, all day long until it is time to leave. At home, Lynn tells her brother all about her fun trip to the zoo. So, class, what are the verbs mentioned in the story? So, the walks, sees, swings, roars, eats, slides, sings, looks, listen, live, and tells. So, now that you know the verbs in the sentence, who can give me an example of action words with a form of sentence, class? Yes, Cabrera? Okay, very good. Kira sings lupang hinirang. The action words in the sentence is singing. Another? Yes, Padillo? The birds are flying. Nice. The action word is flying. So, I think you are familiar in verbs. Let's proceed on activity. For activity number two, so please get a paper and write it in your paper. So, underline the verb in the sentence. For, this is for the set A and for the set B, create sentence with action words that I have given. So for example, the, so na, for the number one, sings, Kira sings lupang hinirang. Okay? So for activity... So we will check for the activity number two. Number one, Anthony is throwing the football. What is the verb in the sentence? It is throwing. For number two, the dog ran across the yard. The action words is run. Number three, the bird sings a cherry song every morning. The verb in the sentence is sings. For number four, teacher Anna reads a book to her students. The verb is reads. Number five, the kids play basketball at recess. The, the verb in the sentence is play. For the set B, I am the one who will check your answers because it depends on your answer. So before we proceed to our evaluation, 
Again, what is the lesson for today? Very good. It, it is all about verb. Can you give the can you give me an example of verb? So the example of verbs are running, praying, walking, read, sings, and walks. So now what is the importance to know the verb in the sentence? Yes, the vid. Very good, because verbs are very important to know because it helps in using language and they have to build, to start building a sentences. So for evaluation, write only the correct answer, okay? Read the sentence below and underline the verb, okay? Um, answer only. For the number one, the wind blow, blew across the yard. Number two, Mark draw a picture on the board. For number three, Mrs. Clark wrote a letter. Number four, our car stopped at the parking lot. So number five, do you eat ice cream? So the answer for number one is blue. For number two, draw. For number three, is wrote. For number four, stop. And for number five, eat. So who got perfect score, class? Okay, David, very good. So before we end our discussion, I have here an assignment. Get your notebook and copy this. And copy this. For assignment, think of an action words that you do every day and use this to form at least three sentences. Okay, class, are you done? Okay, thank you for... Ma'am, next na po ako. Wala na. Next na po ako, ma'am. Okay. To start our day, everybody stand for the opening prayer. Are you ready to pray, children? Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom is love, who meets me here. Ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class. Okay. So you may take your seat now. Let me check the attendance. Alar, Bandola, Braga, Babagay, Basar, Barreto, Cabrera, David, Gasilia, and Geraldo. Very good. No one's absent today. Okay. So, last meeting, we discuss now. So when we say noun, what does it mean? Okay, yes, Carla. Okay, so, so when we say noun, it is a name of person, place, things, animals, and events. Very good. It seems that you understand our, our topic last meeting. So now we will move on to our lesson for today. Okay, so what you're going to do is... What you're going to do is to unscramble the letter to form the correct term. But before that, let's state the objectives in this lesson. At the end of the lesson, you are going to recognize the difference between the common noun and the proper noun. Value the importance of knowing the different nouns and construct a sentence using a common noun and a proper noun. So, in this activity, I will give you two minutes to answer this. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. So, for number one, what is the correct term? Yes, Carla. Very good. The answer is person.
Very good. How about number two? Yes, Rosaline. Yes, the answer is place. And for number three, yes, Arnie? The answer is thing. Very good. And for number four, yes, Andrea? The answer is event. That's right. And for last number, yes, Janice? The answer is animal. Very good, class. All your answers are correct. So what have you noticed? Yes, it is all about noun. So for your next activity, Okay, I have here a, I have here a table and it has uh, five columns and beside is the list of words and what you're going to do is to put these words, if you think that the word is a name of a person, then place it to its column and so the same with others. Are you ready? Okay, just raise your hands if you want to answer. Okay, so what are the words that belongs to person? Yes, Arnie. Very good. Miss Faina. It is a name of a person. Okay. How about you, Joanne? Very good. Carla. Yes, Joanne? The answer is... Father. Very good. Another? We have teacher. Very good. How about the words that belongs to the things? We have pencil. Very good, Chrysaline. Another one? We have book. We have cell phone. And for the event, what are the words that belong to the event? We have Valentine's Day. Also, Mother's Day. Yes, Christian. We have Christmas Day. And Holiday. Okay, how about the place? We have... Philippines. We have diet and city. Thus is town. And for the last column, animals, we have cat, fish, dog, and bird. Okay. Okay, so take a look in this table and later on we are going to have an, another activity and you are going to, push, to put these words into this column. Okay. Since 
since our topic is all about noun, we will focus on the common noun and the proper noun. All the words that we put in this column are going to put here in this proper noun and common noun column. Okay. So, group yourselves into five and you are going to answer this activity. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, so what are the words that belong to the common noun? Okay, we have pencil, book, cell phone, and father, teacher, holiday, and city, town, dog, Cat, fish, and bird. So, the words that belongs to the proper noun, Philippines, Daet, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas Day, Miss Kaina, and Carla. Very good. Okay, so who got the perfect score? Very good, group one. So now we will proceed to our discussion for today. Okay. Our topic is all about now. Again, who can give me the... Definition of noun. Yes, Andrea? Very good. Noun is a name of person, places, things, animals, and events. So now we will focus on these two kinds of noun. The common noun and the proper noun. So everybody read. Common noun. Common noun are used to name of person, places, things, animals, and events in general. It refers to a class or type of noun without being specific. For example, food, student, and flower. And for the proper noun, proper noun are used to name a specific person, places, things, animals, and events. It always begins with capital letter. For example, adobo, joan, and sunflower. Okay. So, did you understand the difference between the common noun and the proper noun? Very good. So, for your next activity, For your next activity, what you are going to do is to box the proper noun and circle the common noun in the sentences. Who wants to answer in number one? Yes, Carla? Read the sentence. Nika loves to eat candies. So what is the common noun in the sentence? Very good. The common noun is candies. So we are going to circle the candies. And the proper noun is the word Nika, because it is a name of a person. And for number two, read the number two sentence. Yes, Janice. Okay. The girl studies at Mabini Colleges. So what is the proper noun? Very good. The proper noun is Mabini Colleges. And the common noun is girl. And number three, yes, Chrysaline. Janice loves her dog very much. So, what is the proper noun? Janice. And the common noun is dog. And number four, the teacher teaches, teaches English. So, the common noun is teacher and the proper noun is English. And for last number, yes, Christian, she bought her bag in New York. Okay. So, the common noun is bag and the proper noun is New York. Did you understand our lesson for today, class? Okay, very good. 
Okay. So, based on our discussion, what did you learn? Yes, Carla? Okay. You learned the different types of noun. The common noun and the proper noun. Again, what is noun? What is common noun? Very good. Can you give me an example of common noun? That's right. How about the proper noun? What is the definition of it? Yes. Very good. And can you give me an example of proper noun? Very good. So, okay. So now, what is the importance of knowing different types of nouns? Yes, Arnie. Very good. So now, let's let's have a an activity. This is your last activity. Okay. What you're going to do is to determine whether each noun is common noun or a proper noun. Get your paper and answer this activity. Okay, are you done? Okay, so for number one, New York, what is the answer? The answer is proper noun. How about number two, television? The answer is common noun. And for number three, it is also a common noun. And for number four, it is a proper noun. Very good. And for number five, yes, it is a proper noun also. And for number six, common noun. How about number seven? Yes, it is an example of proper noun. And for number nine, common noun. Very good. And for last number, the answer is common noun. Who got the perfect score? Very good. All of you got the perfect score. So now, for your assignment, write two specific names prop or proper nouns for the following words or common nouns. Number one, shoes. Number two, ice cream. Number three, coffee. Number four, province. And number five, mobile phone. That's all for today, class. I hope you learned something in this lesson. Okay, goodbye. Kita na po. Yes po. <laughs> Wait lang po. So, before we start, let us pray. Let us all stand and feel the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, good morning, class. Okay, before you take your seat, please kindly look under your chairs and pick up the trashes. Are you done? Okay, very good. Please arrange your chairs properly and, take, and you may take your seats. So, let me check your attendance. Babage Faye Marie, Cabrera Andrea, Geraldo Crisaline, Padilla Mary Jane. Okay, very good. No one is absent. So...
So let's Wait lang po, nawala po kasi. So before we start, these are the objectives of our lesson for today. Recognize demonstrative pronouns. Give the importance of demonstrative pronouns in everyday life. Use demonstrative pronouns, this, that, this, and those. So let's have a review. What did we tackle yesterday? Okay, very good. It's all about personal pronouns. And what do personal pronouns mean? Okay, very good. A personal pronoun is a short word we use as a simple substitute for the proper name of a particular grammatical person, first person, second person, or third person. So can you give different personal pronouns? Okay, very good. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, me, him, her, us and them. So, for our motivation, um, take a look for the pictures. So, first picture is, this is book. Second, that is book. Third, these are books. Fourth, those are books. So, what did you notice? Okay, very good. What words are being used to demonstrate? Okay, very good, class. This, that, this, and those. Now, I have here a video clip related to our lesson for today. Watch carefully and understand. Okay, after we watch the video, what is this all about? Very good, demonstrative pronouns. These, that, these, and those are called demonstrative pronouns. So, 
Can you tell something about what is in your bag by saying this is or this are? Then point to something around you and say this is or those are. Example, this is my favorite pen. Okay, very good class. Thank you for your answers. So, now, let's proceed to our lesson for today. The demonstrative pronouns. Do you have an idea about it? Nice. So now, demonstrative pronouns point out the specific group of persons, places, or things. This, that, this, and those are called demonstrative pronouns. So, always remember, this and that are singular demonstrative pronouns while these and those are plural demonstrative pronouns. So, I have here some picture and try to, try, to try to identify which demonstrative pronouns must be applied. So, number one, blank is a computer game. Yes, correct. This. This is a computer game. Number two, yes, those are lorries. Number three, very good. That is a camera. Number four, yes, this is a kite. And number five, these are balls. All right, thank you for your answer, answers. Job well done, everyone. So, I will read the dialogue below and learn about another kind of pronouns. Pay attention to the italicized words. Okay. Adelaide and Carlo were in the yard playing. Adelaide sees something on the ground. What's that? She asks. The pronoun that refers to the thing that she is pointing to at a distance. So that refers to what? Something on the ground. Very good. So, let's continue. This is a coin. It is a different coin, not like ours. The pronoun that this refers the thing he is holding. This refers to Carlo holds, which is the coin. Okay. So, Adelaide, this is really fantastic. Maybe there is a buried treasure in our yard. Okay, Adelaide started digging. So, Carlo, what are those? Are those precious metals? The plural noun those refers to something he saw at a distance. Those refers to something, something Carlo saw at a distance. So, Adelaide. After examining them, no, I guess not. These are just pieces of junk. The plural pronoun this refers to something near her that she has just examined. This refers to something near her that she has just examined. So, very good class. So, let's have an activity. Reach, I, read each sentence and underline the demonstrative pronouns for number one okay this number two this number three this number four those number five those okay very good class so can you give me three sentences using demonstrative pronouns that is a chair okay very good this is the best meal I have ever had. Okay, very good. Place out the books on top of that. Excellent. So, So for our generalization, 
what is demonstrative pronouns? Okay, very good. Demonstrative pronouns point out uh, something group of persons, places, or things. What are the four types of demonstrative pronouns? Okay, very good. This, that, this, and those. And what are the singular demonstrative pronouns? This and that. Yes, correct. How about plural demonstrative pronouns? This and those. Very good. Please give five claps. Okay. For our evaluation, fill in the blanks with this, that, this, or those. This is the part A of our evaluation. And for our second part, choose the, demo the correct demonstrative pronoun to complete each sentence. Are you done, class? Okay, please pass your papers. Very good, class. All of you get the correct answers. So for our assignment, List down five sentences using demonstrative pronouns. Write it in your notebook. Understand, class? Is there any question? Okay, very good. Now, that's all for today. Thank you. Okay, now, ma'am.